Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, today is Monday, the beginning of a new week and also the beginning of the new month, the month of October. All we pray for is good health, grace and favor. That is all we ask God in the month of October. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about Mohamed Kudus. The assistant coach of West Ham has given us a progress report on Mohamed Kudus ever since joining West Ham from Ajax. He also hinted on the reason why Mohamed Kudus do not start games for West Ham in the English Premier League when he was asked about it. Also, the coach of West Ham, David Moyes, has hinted on the fact that one of the assistant coaches at West Ham, who was from Ajax, was the reason why Mohamed Kudus is currently playing for West Ham. We are going to talk about this with some details live here on Sports Corner GH. We are also going to touch on Joseph Pentel. He's doing so well for Gent, scoring goals, giving assists. We are going to look at his season so far live here on Sports Corner GH. We are also going to talk about two young Ghanaian players, I believe, should end a collab to either the under 23 team or the Black Stars. And we are going to talk about NS Ejari and Forsen Kamalfa. So, guys, today's video is well packed. If you have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to me, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. Also, don't forget our giveaway in the month of October is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video will drop your sports on at GH and stand a chance of winning yourself a free jersey of your choice. Very, very simple. Please make sure to participate. So, guys, quickly, let me begin with Mohamed Kudus. Now, so far, Mohamed Kudus at West Ham has played six games. In those six games, he has come off the bench four times. He has come on as a substitute four times and he has also started two games for West Ham. Now, as a substitute, all were in the English Premier League. And the stats, one was in the Carabao Cup and also one was in the Europa League. Now, anytime Mohamed Kudus starts games for West Ham, he has won the one of the match. As for that one, it's a fact. He has done it in all the games he has started for West Ham. So far, he has got two goals. Now, the assistant coach of West Ham, called Billy McKee has given us a progress report on Mohamed Kudus ever since joining West Ham from Ajax. And this is what he said exactly. I'm going to read it out. He says that Mohamed Kudus has settled in the club really well. And we can see that he's a talented footballer who cares about his football and also wants to come in and contribute. So this is what the assistant coach is giving us on the progress of Mohamed Kudus. He says that Mohamed Kudus has settled at the club very well. He's looking at everything. He's talented. The coaches are saying he's talented. They can see what he can do. And then he wants to contribute to what West Ham are going to do. Now, he was now asking why Mohamed Kudus did not start games in West Ham, like for West Ham in the English Premier League. And this was his response. He says that, I think maybe we just have to be mindful of the fact that it is a really tough league. The Premier League, it's really difficult to come in and set it alight. What he's saying is that we should give Mohamed Kudus time. Now, the Premier League is very difficult. It's a very tough league. You don't just come in and then set it alight like that. No matter how talented you are, you need time to adjust and adapt to the Premier League. That is why they are mindful of the way they introduce Mohamed Kudus into their games they play in the English Premier League. So, guys, those of you who have been asking, oh, why is Mohamed Kudus not starting? He does so well in Carabao Cup. He does so well for Europa League whenever he starts. But he's not starting games for West Ham in the English Premier League. The assistant coach of West Ham called Billy McKean is saying that the Premier League is a tough one and Mohamed Kudus will be introduced gradually so that he becomes abreast with how the Premier League is being played. Now, it didn't just end there. David Moyes was asked about Mohamed Kudus' transfer. And once again, he hinted on the fact that one of the assistant coaches who was with West Ham now is like he's with West Ham now from Ajax called John Hetinga. Now, let's not forget, John Hetinga used to be the coach of Ajax where Mohamed Kudus actually flourished. Yes, the Mohamed Kudus goals he was scoring last season in this, it was under John Hetinga who was the coach of Ajax last season. Yes, he's now currently an assistant coach at West Ham. And... David Weiss is saying that the coach was pivotal in bringing Mohamed Kudus to West Ham. And let's not forget, he has, the, the coach has worked with Mohamed Kudus before. He knows Mohamed Kudus in, uh, inside out. So it would be very easy for the coach to bring out the best in Mohamed Kudus. And if you are looking for a coach that has actually brought out the best of Mohamed Kudus, 
it would be John Hetinga, and he's uh, currently at West Ham. He's doing so well. Also, there's another iron player there, you know, Edson Alvarez. So it's just good that, you know, the, the coach is dead. And then, you know, David Moyes is saying good things about him, that he is the reason why Mohamed Kudus is currently at West Ham. So, guys, this is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus. And these are, these are some of the things the coach and also the assistant coaches are saying about Mohamed Kudus. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. So, guys, quickly, let's move away from that and talk about Joseph Pinson. Now, Joseph Pinson played for Jenk versus West End. Now, that game was a very tight one because when that game started in the first half, Jack lost a player, a Ghanaian player who was playing in that game. His name is Christopher Babun, so he had a red card. Straight red card, and he went out of the game in the first half. So, you know, Jack were trying to salvage the game. They were doing well. And then, five minutes in the second half, Joseph Pinto scored a goal. Now, so far, in nine appearances for Jack this season, he has given three assists and scored two goals. This is excellent. Last season, he was brilliant for them. In fact, he was one of their best players of the season. Last season. This season, he is considering his fire form. Even if the team is going down. He's, he stands out, does very well, tries to bring the team out of a very dark patch and also carries the burden of the team. He scored a goal for them yesterday, doing so, so well, and we need to commend Joseph Benzo. Now, he says he's not happy about his rating. I brought you that video. If I've not watched his reaction to his rating, Guys, make sure to check out the channel and watch Joseph Pinson's reaction to his ratings. He says he doesn't like his rating at all. He said that the rating there doesn't make sense. But guys, this is the latest on Joseph Pinson as he played for Jack against Western. That game ended in a 3-3 draw, even though Jack lost a player in the first half. So guys, moving away from that, let's talk about NS Ejari. Now, NS Ejari plays for Randes. Yes, NS Ejari plays for Randes and... He scored a goal. In fact, this is his first goal for his club in the Danish league. Now, he came off as a substitute in the 75th minute. And five minutes after coming on guy onto the pitch, he scored a goal. After sitting down on the bench to you know, observe the game, he came on the pitch five minutes back. He did the job. Very simple. And S.J. is a very talented player. A player who used to be with right to dream. Within a certain period, he had a lot of, you know, talent and a lot of people thought he was going to be one of the top players, but it didn't happen to be that matter. He went to moving past England, Estonia, now he's playing for Randes and he scored his first goal in the Danish league. But this is his second goal across all competition for Randes. So guys, this is the latest update on NS Jari. Yes, that game ended in a 1-0. He scored that goal for Randes. And then he's one player we really need to look out for because he's really doing well. He's scoring goals. He's one player that was already scoring goals in his club side before he even came to Randes. So we just hope that Charlie, he keeps on doing so well so that he can end a corner up to the Black Star. He's very young, 25 years of age. I believe that Charlie. They can add something to the Black Stars, especially with the qualifiers and some of the games we are going to play. And lastly, let's talk about forcing our But Now, forcing our mobile, I've been talking about this player in like my two previous videos. And I believe he's a player that we need to really be checking on because he's a very talented young player, 20 years of age, and he's really talented. Playing for Red Bull Salzburg. Now, they played a game just last weekend, and he had the man of the match in that game, giving two assists in that game. Now, before those two assists in that particular game, they played a cup competition. They played a cup competition. He came off the bench and scored a brace. Two goals for Red Bull Salzburg. And he is doing well so far. So far in the league. So far in the league, he has scored one goal with two assists. One goal with two, two assists so far in the league. The two goals he scored was in a cup tournament. So, guys, this is the latest update on Forsen Amalqua winning the man of the match in the latest game they played over the weekend so guys let me know your local comment about what we discussed here today on Mohamed Kudus West Ham coaches talking about Mohamed Kudus they said he's certainly in war also the reason why he's not being started in games for West Ham in the EPL is because of one reason they, they believe that the EPL is a very tough game and they want him to adapt and adjust they are introducing him gradually very soon, he's going to explode. They believe he's a talented footballer and he wants to contribute to West Ham. Also, let me know your thoughts on Joseph Pinsel, his reaction to his rating. You can watch it on the channel. Also, scoring goals so far. 
two goals, three assists in nine appearances for Jack. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. And also, let me know your thoughts on NSA Jari and also Amalqua Forsen. Life on Sports for Nigeria. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Tell it. We go vibe.